Hello, creative fam. I made a beautiful glam mirrored jewelry box using Dollar Tree materials. And I've been wanting to share some Christmas gift ideas with you that are super simple, fast, fun, and affordable to make that any woman would love and cherish. And this idea is actually a perfect gift for any time of the year. It doesn't have to be Christmas. It could be just for yourself. And the funny thing is, this project started out as a candle holder. And for this project, I started with a couple of the metal or tin Christmas containers from Dollar Tree. And these are the smaller rectangular ones. The first thing I do is glue two of these together stacked. But you'll need to add a piece of foam board between these to fill the gap where the bottom is or it will not sit straight. So I just rough cut a piece of foam board and I glued that to the lid on the bottom container and then glued the top container on that. And to ensure a better hold, I add a bead of glue around the seam and I duct tape that. Next, I rough cut about four and a half inches a little or a little more to fit two mirrors side by side. And uh, I cut the foam pieces so I could still see the backs of the mirrors just a little around the edges or the rim. And I leave one mirror on the foam board while I glue my first one on to ensure it's right where I want it. And then once the first one's glued, then I can just obviously go ahead and glue down my second one. I repeat that so that I have two foam pieces each with two mirrors i held my pieces up to the box or container to see how everything fits as i build this and at this point i like the fit so i glue on my first side mirror and i hold this back up to the containers again to see how this is coming together then i glued a, another long piece to the side mirror now once i had all three sides of my box built um, i lay a piece of foam board on the bottom and i cut to fit my bottom piece now i'm ready for my bottom so i glue a another rough cut piece to the bottom of the container and i glue that with a generous amount of hot glue then i just glue that to the bottom foam piece next i add a heavy amount of glue around the bottom in the sides of the container and then i place my mirrors onto that at this point i still thought i was making a candle holder and um i was building this so that you would be able to you know add a good amount of weight to the top and it not fall in or anything so if you want to do that you can but if you're making a jewelry box you might want to center your container a little bit better than i did so i also filled the sides with these foam pieces and later i took those back out another thing that i do is test the quality of the build of my project to see how this is holding i shake it and i'm very happy with how it is everything's holding really well together so then i add my other side mirror I flip my box upside down and I glue on legs. Now I use these little mini mirrored Christmas ornaments for the legs. First, I peel off a couple of rows of the mini mirror. So I'm gluing foam on foam and I glue one to each corner. I wanna give this box a little bit more detail. So I glue a Christmas ornament in the center of another square mirror and then I glue that onto the front of my mirrored box and i line it with the center seam and i turn my mirror sideways so that it's kind of shaped like a diamond and i repeat that for both sides now if you're watching this video and it's not during the christmas season you could use a pendant if you can't find an ornament um, and i've also even found some really pretty super glamorous hair breads there's all kind of different things you could use so it was at this point I thought, hmm, I bet this would make a pretty jewelry box. So I lined the inside with this super soft, fuzzy white cloth from the auto section of Dollar Tree. And I just trimmed and glued this down to fit. Now a couple of quick tips here. I used a dowel to transfer hot glue in those hard to reach places because my glue gun would not fit. 
also I glued the cloth around the rim and then uh, I would you know cut that so it would fit you know like one part of the box and then you can tuck it in with your hand to the bottom and you'll be able to feel with your hand where the bottom is on that cloth so bring it back out and uh, cut to fit and run a bead of glue across the edge and then tuck it back down and glue the sides in once I was finished cutting and gluing to fit this material, I was ready to add the final touches to this project by gluing some glass knobs to two more mirrors for the very top. So I take two more mirrors and I place them on the very top of this mirrored box and I glued some beautiful glass knobs that I have left over from another project. Now, if you don't have anything like this, you could totally use the same uh, mirrored ornaments because those come in a pack of six and we used four earlier. Or if you have a hot knife, you could get some plastic silverware from the wedding section of Dollar Tree and cut the gems off of the ends. You would just cut along the line right here and glue those on the top of the mirror for knobs and fill your jewelry box with jewelry and enjoy it because this project is finished. Thank you so much for watching. I hope some of you give this project a try either for yourself or as a gift. I really love how this turned out and I just think it's so glam and elegant. Well, we have a quote this week and it's from Elisa Bomworth. Her says, keep calm and sparkle on. I love that. Thank you so much. Hope everyone has a wonderful, beautiful weekend. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon.